Why should you be Pennsylvania's governor? I should be the governor because I love Pennsylvania and public service is in my blood and I can get things done. I'm not a career politician. People know that this is my first run for public office, which I think is a plus. Um, because we need an outsider to do the things in Harrisburg that need to get done to improve people's lives. But I also have a record, right? I've been U.S. Attorney here in Philadelphia. Now, people know me, they know the work I've done as U.S. Attorney. Now, I'm a Marine, um, I'm a leader. So you know what you're gonna get with Bill McSwain. You talked about having a constitutional amendment in Pennsylvania to have the governor appoint the district attorney in Philadelphia. Obviously, you have a long history with Larry Krasner, but if there were to be another city that elects a district attorney that you disagree with, would you want to appoint the district attorney in that city? Philadelphia is in a unique crisis. There's certainly crime problems all over the state. Crime is rising in Pittsburgh. Crime is rising in Wilkes-Barre, in Harrisburg, and other urban areas, but Philadelphia is uniquely in crisis. You've talked about being willing to send in the National Guard or the state police to Philadelphia. Um, what would they do? Well, everything's on the table, is first of all, okay? So you have police resources at your disposal as governor. But you would could, you just you send them in just on an ordinary weekend, or are you saying if something specific happens? There's lots of things you could do, and you could also work with the legislature to augment the law enforcement uh, resources that are in Philadelphia. Did you find significant or widespread fraud during the 2020 election? I received lots of allegations of, of different irregularities when I was U.S. Attorney in November of, of 2020. How many? Well, there were allegations coming in from lots of different people, but those are just allegations, right? Those aren't actual proof. Anybody can allege something, and your job as a prosecutor is to go and investigate and see if there's actually any, um, any documented uh, cases of election fraud or election uh, Did you find any? Irreg irregularities. I was not given the freedom, the free reign to investigate fully the way I wanted to. Attorney General Bill Barr has disputed your version of events. Why should people believe your version as opposed to the former Attorney General? I have a lifetime reputation for honesty and integrity. Everything in my letter to the President is 100% true. I stand by it. And um, I'm, I have more important things to worry about than, than what Bill Barr is, 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 is saying about the matter. Is Bill I'm Barr worried lying? about. I'm worried Is about... Is the former Attorney General lying? Bill Barr is mistaken. Do you believe that the 2020 election was legitimate and that Joe Biden won the presidency legitimately in Pennsylvania and in the general election? Again, I'm focused on the future, but I will but say... you were U.S. Attorney at the time. I will say this. It's very interesting that the Commonwealth Court recently ruled that no excuse mail-in balloting violates our Pennsylvania Constitution and is unconstitutional. In terms of what happened, do you believe that that was a legitimate election? I believe that the Commonwealth Court is right. I believe that it was unconstitutional for us to have no excuse mail-in balloting. Have you spoken with President Trump about your candidacy? Uh, I have spoken to the President, yes. And what did he want to know from you? He's very interested in Pennsylvania. He's very um, interested in the election. He's following it closely. I don't know if he's going to uh, take in a role in it or not. I don't, it's up to him whether he's going to endorse somebody. And so uh, we'll have to wait and see what he decides to do. But certainly, if, if he wants to endorse somebody in the race, I would welcome an endorsement.